The Masters, a week unlike any other. Since 2019, uh, Home of the Masters has played host to another event that's captured the attention of the golf world. The Augusta Women's National Amateur Championship has quickly become a premier tournament in amateur golf. Travis Tite caught up with a local star competing in the tournament, Ellie Slama. So she's uh, in Augusta now, but you got to, to chat with her before she went. I did. The South Salem native and the Oregon State senior is a very, very rare talent. I actually played nine holes with Ellie before she made her third and likely final trip down Magnolia Lane for, yes, the Augusta National Women's Am. And we're off. I love I'm gonna talking start, about Augusta. Yeah, I, I don't blame you. <laughs> Explain what the, the beauty is behind the tournament. Yeah, so the Augusta National Women's Amateur is basically an opportunity for uh, yes. amateur women to play in an event at Augusta National, which is like mind-boggling that I still can say that. And it's just an opportunity basically to play a course that, you know, you're not ever really gonna think that you would be able to play. It's just something you see on TV all the time with the Masters. It's really cool that we have the opportunity to play it and to like experience it with our family and our friends and, you know, all of our like other golf friends. So it'll be cool, yeah. This tournament honestly is like, it means so much to me. It's probably my favorite tournament I've ever played in. And I think a lot of girls can say that. Um, it's so amazing to bring your whole family and just have that environment of Augusta National and to be able to walk the fairways and play the course and hit all those famous like shots that you see on TV and that I've grown up watching for years. I think I'll just treat it like it's, you know, that one opportunity and hopefully make the cut and, and do something great with it. That's but, awesome. Yeah. That's great. Good bird. Go. Oh, I deserve it. I deserve the bogue. Not shocking, we're behind. <laughs> when you do look back on the fact that this is your, your third and potentially final um, Augusta National Women's Am, I mean, what goes through your mind? Yeah, I think it's mostly excitement and just like just thankful that I've had this opportunity three times yeah. and that, I mean, it's such a cool experience and such a fun time to be a golfer and a woman in golf. Mm. And so I think I'm just really fortunate to be able to say that I've gone twice and I'm going a third time. I'm just going to look at it as kind of like that once in a lifetime opportunity that I've been lucky enough to have three times. When you go down Magnolia Lane again, what, what are those what are those feelings like? I think I'll still get butterflies. Like I think it's just one of those drives where every time you do it, it's just so special because it's leading up to just the best experience of your life. No matter how many times you've done it, it's still just like incredible and you just are speechless, I think. Come back. Oh, there it is, pin high. Yeah. Good shot. Thank you. I expect nothing less. <laughs> What's your goal when you get to Augusta? I think I have a few goals. Um, my first goal is just to like have fun and just enjoy the experience and kind of soak up all the memories because it's just such a cool week that I want to remember forever. Mm -hmm. um, another one of my goals is to make the cut this year. So that's I think that's probably like the, the outcome goal that I would say. And then I would say my third goal is just to like pretty much do everything in my control. Like there's obviously going to be parts and pieces of it that I can't do much about, like sure. bad bounces and all that. But just to kind of like step up to every shot and be completely like committed and, and uh, yeah, do everything in my control, I guess. Oh, he's healed oh, it. Oh no. Later. <laughs> That's, That's not okay. good for TV. You'll have, you'll have a fun shot. That'll, be, that'll be great. <laughs> I almost missed the whole club. But. Thanks. I feel like one of the coolest parts about the whole thing is that it's set up for the Masters. Like, obviously the Masters is the week after, and so um, it's really cool to just kind of like walk the fairways, see all the observation stands, and like all of, I mean, all the mics and all the cameras are already there, and they're preparing for it. And it's obviously such a big deal, and all of us um, women in the tournament have been watching the Masters since we were little girls and so it's super cool to just kind of like 
experience it, even with like less fans, but still a great amount of people come and watch. Mm -hmm. So it is really cool to just kind of pretend like we're at the Masters and pretend like we're playing in this tournament when it's, it's just the coolest setup and the coolest tournament. What has that tournament meant for not just women's golf, but maybe more specifically women's amateur golf? Yeah, I think it's just such a special um, opportunity for women to play and women amateur. Like, there's not a lot of opportunities to play, you know, big prestigious events for us. And so this is kind of one of those. And to host it at Augusta, it just means so much more because. You know, in the past, that course has so much history and it's all history of men. Mm -hmm. And so just to be able to walk the fairways and have our names on a trophy or on, you know, a plaque or sign autographs for little girls, it just kind of is like that inspirational piece of like, there is possibility that like women will continue to play at Augusta and like be a part of golf history. And so it's just super cool to like be a part of that. And I mean, from the first year till now, like it just has gotten more and more special and you've seen so many improvements and, and so many more opportunities for women as well. So mm -hmm. it is just, it's an amazing experience. That golf ball's gone. Well, oh, so close. I would say that's, that's, that's my part today. Now we're on Now nine. that was a great Good time. Job. That Thank was so you. Fun. That was a ton that of fun. Good really... luck at Augusta. Thank you. Yes. I'm we'll excited. See. You should be. Pretty fun. Very grateful to Ellie for uh, taking the time last week to be able to do that. Now, some other big news for Ellie. She actually did reveal later that she is, in fact, going to turn professional after she wraps up her college career this year. So congrats to her. A very bright future ahead. Cannot wait to see what the rest of this week and her career have in store. She's a fun one to root for.